man. It's your boy Shy. Shy vs. J Bite Podcast, man. Episode 64. We got a special guests in the building. We got writer, singer, motherfucker Upshaw, man. What's good with you, bro? What's good, bro? What's good? What's good? What's good? Chill, man. I appreciate you coming on the show, man. I know it's kind of like, kind of last minute, but shit, you made it happen. Oh, yeah, always. <laughs> For always. sure. Now, we start off uh, every episode, man, with something called uh, Salute Me While I'm Here. Uh, a lot of times we wait for motherfuckers to pass away to tell a nigga or a, or a female how dope they are or how much you care about them and shit. You know what I'm saying? We wait to say that shit or we wait, you know, when they pass away and say how dope they was and opposed to saying that why they can still, you know, receive the flowers and shit. Uh -huh. But the only thing about it is the way we do it is we don't go with the typical people. So, you know, you can't salute, you know, moms, dad, uh, wife, kids. It got to be somebody outside of that. So mm -hmm. you got you got somebody in mind you want to give a uh, shout out to? Um, I just want to salute everybody that's doing them, man. Like really chasing happiness. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause this this music shit, it take a it take a real crazy motherfucker to chase this shit oh, and yeah. to really do this shit. So Hell yeah. I salute whoever you know. What I'm saying at whatever whatever level you at, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Like, for sure, hell yeah, hell yeah, cause yeah, it do, it do. Shit, my my shit, my salute uh, is gonna be f my family just because uh, today is April second. My mom passed away April second nine years ago, twenty twelve. Oh, sorry to hear that, bro. Sorry oh yeah, for sure, that. for sure. And it's funny because the crazy thing about it was we recorded an episode of your shit the mm -hmm. same day, just so I wanted to think about that shit. So yeah. I'm a uh, salute uh, family. Yeah, you know, you when somebody passed away like that, mom, dad, whatever. Somebody close, a lot of people will be saying some bullshit like, oh man, if you need anything, this, that, and the third, whatever. So, I'm going to salute family who really, you know what I'm saying, was, was, was uh, you know, looking out, checking out. Because I was, I was grown still, but it's, it's niggas who, uh, you know what I'm saying, kept their word and was was around and shit. That's real. So, that's my salute. Uh, rest in peace, moms and shit. And rest in peace. Rest yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's my salute, dog. Hey, real quick, though. We was talking about this shit before you came on, dog, before we get into everything. We was talking about Easter, bro. And... I was going to get an Easter basket, and I be noticing how niggas be, like, giving their kids, like, Christmas gifts for Easter. Like, do you remember, like, niggas, like, your mom and dad going out their way for you for Easter, bro, for, like, a basket, or, like, are you dressing up for church and shit? My dad always did, though. You for know real? what I'm saying? My dad, like, like, Easter, like, we get the baskets. We used to get, like, the little Nestle Crunch little thing. <laughs> Hell yeah. Like... My dad used to hook us up, bro. Yeah. Like, uh, my mom, and my mom was like deep into the church. So, yeah. yeah, we got dressed up, you know what I'm saying? Went to church, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Went over Granny House afterwards. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, family yeah. over there. I miss that type of shit. Though. Man, yeah. See, uh, we we was never, like, my, my mom's and dad was never in the church deep, but my granddad was. So, we'd get dressed up and go with him. Mm -hmm. But, like, I'm seeing people with baskets for their kids. They got fucking PlayStation and that bitch, and, like, oh, get uh, clothes and that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Only thing we got that was a toy nigga for uh, Easter basket, maybe a super soccer in that bitch, or a rubber basketball. That ain't gonna I do don't shit. think I got that. <laughs> I don't think I got that. <laughs> yeah. I shit was like gift cards and shit. Yeah, hell yeah, shit. That's even better though. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Hell yeah, dog. But speaking of parents and shit, dog, we always start off the show. Uh, give us a little, um, little background about you, man. Where you, what, what side of Detroit you from? Who's in the crib, man? How was it growing up as a, a young upshot, man? Man, um. I'm from the west side of Detroit, bro. I mm -hmm. grew up on uh, Puritan, Log Cabin. Okay. Um, it's like HP area. Yeah. Um, me and my two, well, actually, just me and my mama and my sister. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, my daddy, he, he was in my life, you know what I'm saying? He yeah. Let, he lived on the street, actually. Oh, shit, damn. You know what I'm saying? So I was blessed to have, like, two homes. Yeah. Would you, I, like... I wouldn't yeah. consider that a blessing. I, it's a blessing, you know what I'm saying, but it's a blessing with uh, inside of a <laughs> situation that I don't <laughs> want to be in. <laughs> yeah, you feel me? I no parent. I don't want. I don't think nobody want their parents separated. For sure. Me? For so, sure. You know what I'm saying? But I was blessed to have them on the same block. Yeah, yeah. So you get you get upset. You can you can leave and shit. One of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then that's when that person might get mad. Like, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you say uh, you you uh, your sister and your mom's yeah. and dad down the street. Yeah. Heck, you know that shit crazy though. Yeah. Like, was they ever? I ain't gonna get into in, in, in depth in that. But was they ever together when you was a, a little one? I mean, my parents divorced when I was two. Okay. 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 So and then he dipped to Southfield. Mm hmm. Um. 
Yeah, and then, you know what I'm saying, just me, my mom, and my sister, That's we right. rocked it until high school, and then she sent me out there to my daddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As I think any mama Hell should yeah. do in that situation. For sure. Especially in the society we live in. Man, it's funny you, you say that, because uh, my, uh, my oldest son is with, you know, high school girlfriend, you know, you think it's going to work out, but it don't. Uh -huh. And my two youngest is with my wife or whatever right now. Uh -huh. So we it's funny you say that, because, like, me and my oldest son, mom, we, we cool as hell, everything good as no... It's no, you know, saying I hate him or I hate her shit. Mm -hmm. But the only thing we got into it a little bit about motherfucking uh, my son in sports because she's in Florida, so he about to be in ninth grade next year. So I'm like, she gonna get Dang. real, you know what I'm saying? She about to get real. He hooping, so I'm like, he can't be missing out on summers of hooping to come visit if you ain't got nothing going on. Right. And then she get pissed off like, like nigga. You trying to say that your plan is more important than me? Like, dog, it ain't about that. She about to become yeah. a business for him. Like, he gonna decide what he want to do in life within these next four years. So if he coming down there with you, have some set up for him. If not, yeah. then shit, he got he got to do what he got to do. You feel me? So yeah, yeah. yeah that's we a that's a that's a sticky situation. <laughs> Florida, yeah. like. Right. Mhm. Mm you would think. Nigga, you go on the floor, you about to have time of your life in the summertime, bro. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, you got to get him around some kids so he can, you know what I'm saying, he 14, meet some girls, meet some, you know what I'm saying, some homies or something like that. Who do his thing? I think down there, though, it's like, it's different because it's like, they play sports all year round. Yeah, hell yeah. So I think it's better for him to be down there. I just don't think. For the summertime, that's all. Summertime. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, you got. Yeah, I'd be focused. Yeah, summer. we we had a little dispute, man, but we get together though. Dog. Yeah. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna get mad at that shit. But well, it's summer all year there. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah, dog. So man, speaking of like, how would you have growing up? Would you in the Would you in the sports, dog? What? Like, I played you, football my whole life, bro. For, for real. Up until the time I was like shit, twenty, about twenty seven. What position you play? Corner. Corner. Yeah. Yeah, now who you play for as like a youngin when you was like the Pell Leagues? The Cougars. Cougars? Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean I played for the Colts, man. I got hit one good time and <laughs> football wasn't for me, bro. <laughs> that shit wasn't for me, bro. Oh, I mean, let me stick shit. to this hoop and shit, dog. Yeah, I, I play I hoop. I hoop like toward high school, like middle school I play like little rec league and yeah, shit. Yeah. But football was my shit. So you gotta be a different animal to play football, dog. Not really. Shit. <laughs> I mean, that shit was fun to me. I yeah, some niggas it. like that contact and that motherfucking shit, though. Like, I, I mean, I ain't fuck with that. Like, yeah. But, like, I, I, I play for the crowd, bro. Yeah. Like, nigga, to be the nigga on defense, but you get the ball. Yeah, yeah. That's, that was my thing, like, nigga. And I just had a knack for the ball, nigga. I had, like, shit. I can't even count how many picks I had. Shit, like, what high school you was at when you played? I went to Cass. Oh, you went to Cass Tech? Oh, yeah. shit, this nigga. Kid yeah. <laughs> ass nigga. Ah, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah, man. Yeah. Right no, oh, so, shit, shit yeah, because, yeah, my, yeah, my, NF, my uh, NFL, my football, uh, my football dreams died, man. One summer, man, I was like 12, 11. Niggas kept saying I was so fast, hoping I should play football. Mm -hmm. Try that shit. Everything was smooth. Put the pass on. Slant pass, caught that bitch, got hit. Nigga, I had to practice getting my uniform, nigga. Like, it's a wrap, dog. I'm good. Because you ain't about to hurt me for something I, I like, and I can't play something I love. That's so, real. I'm like, fuck, I'm good. That's I just, real. I watched it. And when I went to Gross Point, because I went to Gross Point North my first two years, then I transferred to Southeastern. Well, they kicked me out. I didn't transfer because they found out I moved back to the city. Mm -hmm. Those white boys, them motherfuckers be big as hell, Yeah, dog. yeah. When it comes yeah. football, you get hit by one of them motherfuckers, boy. Yeah. yeah. Like, fuck around and die. <laughs> so was like was that like a dream of yours though? Like was it NFL some shit you was looking at? Hell you? yeah, hell yeah. I mean, what what what, what uh, was it something that kind of like stirred you away or like it was it a point yo that you knew, like did, that might not happen? Did you play college ball? Man, I played um I played college ball like Ferris okay for a year and a half I think. Mm -hmm. But um, as I left Ferris, like I went to go play semi and I played arena. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, I just got, you know, I got three sons, so yeah. I was like, shit. Yeah, the focus on that. Once my son got to the age where he was playing contact football, I was like, I was going to let football go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's my, that's my itch for it. You know, I, I, I can steal what I know into my son. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Damn, I did. I, yeah, you must be in that deal then, shit. Playing for real, shit. Because yeah. <laughs> I know a couple of niggas play arena football. My nigga Demetrius uh, Brown, my nigga Jamal Doggett. I think, uh, shit, one of the homies had passed away. I know away. Jamal Doggett. I played semi with him, I think. Yeah, yeah. 
I don't yeah. know if I played with him. I think I played against him, though. Yeah, yeah. He, familiar. Yeah, because he played uh, football, uh, baseball. I, I think he coached now. He coaching because his son, like, six years old, he getting into the football shit. Yeah, so. okay. Hell, yeah, okay. yeah. What would you say? Because uh, my son is kind of like a stocky dude. What would you say to somebody who, everywhere he go when he hooping, niggas be like, dog, you play football? What would you say to somebody, is, that, is it good to start playing football once you get in high school? Or that's, if you never played before that, you shouldn't try it? Hmm. hmm. <laughs> that's a great question. <laughs> I think it depends on... What the kid want to do, man. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm like, I I won't force nothing on my kid. For I don't, sure. I don't give a fuck what it is. So yeah. like, Cause they not gonna put their heart into it. They not gonna put their all into it. You oh yeah. Me? yeah. So yeah. it's like, shit. If he ain't never played football and he ain't got no interest in it, mm -hmm. shit. Yeah. Don't do, don't it. do yeah. it. Hell yeah. Hell Cause yeah. Cause if he get to college, nigga, or when he gets to college, he's gonna. The school may, you know, make him a double athlete. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Because that's the shit with Snoop. I think Snoop's son said the only reason why he played football because he thought that's what his dad wanted to do. And that's the only, only way they was going to have, like, a good relationship. So once he Dang. got to college, that nigga just said, fuck it, I don't want to play this shit for real. Yeah. So, I, I ain't know. I forgot he quit. Yeah, because he was a beast, though. I think it was, like, what, receiver or some shit? Yep. Nigga, like, 6'4", nigga was cold. Yep. But then he got to college. I think he went to UCLA. And nigga was like, dog, I'm not, I don't really love this shit, bro. Yeah. Like, I was just doing this shit for you. <laughs> That's tough. Yeah, yeah. And That's as tough. a dad, you like, damn, I thought you was going to NFL. Like, I'm a, you, you could be a little salty, but then you probably understand, like, damn, I probably was that type of nigga to make him feel that way and shit. Yeah. But shit, man, I always talk to the niggas about music, man, as far as, like, coming up. Usually you get your musical influences from what your mom or your dad was playing when they was cleaning the house up and shit, dog. Mm -hmm. So what was some shit that you was liking just based off your mom and your pops? Um... Like my pops, he listened to a lot of like Motown shit and and Parliament, mm -hmm. you know George Clinton, um, yeah. Will Downey. I don't know if you ever heard of that person. Oh yeah, hell yeah, Will Downey. Hell yeah, my mom was on yeah. that shit heavy. But um, I'm like, damn, what is that button? <laughs> hell yeah. But um, yeah, yeah, my uh, my dad, he had a variety of shit. You know what I'm saying? My mm. mom was more so. Like gospel and like her side of the family, they yeah. like my grandma was from down south, so okay. they they listen to like down home blues. I don't know if you ever heard heard of that. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's, I, it's if you listen to it, it's funny though. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. like I like it, but it's it's funny. But yeah, you know. Uh, so on trips growing up, going to Alabama, like I had to listen to that going fourteen hours. Hell yeah, you know what I'm saying so. Like, I got a lot of influences with, as far as just background, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just, like, I'm a person, if I hear something, I'm going to learn how to do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can make any type of music, pop oh. or whatever. Yeah, for sure. You feel me? So, it's... So, I, 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 I can, I can, uh, I can <clears> guess there <throat> was no rap going on in your, in your cribs. Uh, Maybe my with dad, dad, but not with moms yeah. at all. Yeah, who was some who was some rap dudes that that your pops was listening to, dog? Cause my, my household, dad, my dad just pop. stayed on NWA, dog. NWA, like, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, true. He fucked with Jay Z. Yeah. Jay Z, my bad. He fucked with Jay Z. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, cause like my household, dog, just Tupac. That's it. My dad listening to rap for real, dog. My daddy listening to Biggie. Yeah. yeah. He listened to Biggie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was just, it was just pop. And like I said, in the crib, we was playing like you. Like you said, it was like different shit. Like, my dad can listen to rock and roll, motherfucking old school, motherfucking, mm. like you said, uh, big on on Temptations, nigga. I remember uh, his favorite person was uh, uh, Eddie Kendrick because of his voice and shit, dog. Oh, yeah, that's my nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he was deep into, like, the Temptations and shit. Then you go to motherfucker touch it with Bob Marley and reggae music and shit like that, dog. So... It was a whole bunch of shit, and the nigga was kind of racist, but listening to all type of white music, like, <laughs> so I'm like, how you talking this much shit about white people, but you, you and this bitch listening, Paul, uh, Paul McCartney, uh, see, I listen to that from, like, like, you can say the white music, like, pop, yeah, yeah, I like it. I don't know. But it's okay. Where did that come from? Like, yeah, but I think that'd be making like a great artist when you just can tap into different genres and not yeah, just focus on one yeah, thing. Yeah. Because, you know, I always talk about Snoop Dogg is the biggest artist to me ever. And you could tell his musical influences, he was listening more than just rap. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He was into mm -hmm. a little bit of everything, dog. So, mm -hmm. shit, once you got your own ear for music and you wasn't just listening to shit that your mom and your dad was listening to, what was some, who was, who was you growing up to that you was rocking, like, on, on the rap side and the uh, R&B side? Um... On um, rap, like, I was always, like, 
I listen to local rappers. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like in high school and shit. Like, cause all my friends did rap. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know what I'm saying? I listen to them and shit, but um, R&B wise, yeah. shit. Some of everybody, bro. Like, what's your what's your go-to shit? Like, what's the what about um? Some of every, when I say some of everybody, though, I say some of everybody, bro. I know my first CD I bought, I remember, was fucking Usher, nigga. That, uh, oh, like that type of... I think my first CD was Jodeci. It was a tape. Jodeci. It was a tape. Yeah. That's, I don't know what the album was, but it had... Um, Goddamn Jodeci. Come and Talk to Me on there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one when they got the, uh, that, the blue like the blue uh, cover. I think it's the... Um, and I forgot the name of that motherfucking uh, album, dog. Diary of a Mad Band. I think that's what it is. I think that is. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, what, what that motherfucker, uh, <laughs> Casey and motherfucking JoJo, boy. And then Kay, every time I think about them, I think about that time that nigga was on that show. He was getting, he was on, on the security guard. And <laughs> he was sitting on that nigga back, bro. Remember yeah, he performing? Them my niggas. Them so <laughs> <Dude, laughs> my niggas. He took a piece of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucking Casey and motherfucking JoJo, dog. Ah, that, that nigga was, retarded, dog. Especially when them niggas had, uh, was on, we talking about Jamie Foxx show. When them niggas had signed, uh, Jamie and shit, dog. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker Jamie was trying to sing. He was tired of being background, bro. He's like, <laughs> they got kicked off the that. group and shit, dog. I remember that. Yeah, I Casey and JoJo that. definitely classic, bro. Then you got back then, like if you go in the nineties, you got them, you got Boys to Men, motherfucking. I think what's name is like Jagged Edge is a is a group that you gotta look at as far as like they never broke up, and if they did, nobody never made like a solo know. CD. I don't like them niggas. You don't like Jagged Edge? Damn, what well, why wow, nigga? What's up with them? All they shit sound like, bro, to me, bro. <laughs> Damn, you look at it, they do shit. Yeah. It, it, it do kind of sound the same. Why, nigga, you listen to it, it all sound like. But that's the only group. You know, New Edition, everybody in New Edition did their own thing. Uh, motherfucking, um, 112, you had motherfucking Casey and Joe. I mean, yeah, no, Casey and JoJo, they was on one. No, was Casey and JoJo on 112? No. No, Casey <laughs> Josie, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. So you had Slim from 112. Yeah. Josie and Casey and JoJo did their own thing. Like every group did their own. Somebody did their own thing. If you want to go to like my area in high school, B2K, you knew Mario was gonna leave that motherfucker group one yeah. of them days. Yeah. You got Pleasure P left, motherfucker Pretty Ricky and shit. Like Josie, I mean, uh, Jack is probably the only group that niggas didn't lead. Did niggas, niggas didn't lead? Yeah. Uh, they had disputes and they had motherfucking fights, but niggas didn't make their own they own albums and like that. They just Man, Q did. Q Q, damn he did. Q Parker, y'all. Yep. Damn, I didn't even know that shit. Shit yeah. must have do shit then for real. He ain't do nothing for real. Yeah, yeah. Like, but back then, like, he ain't slap. I don't think, but he did his own. He had like, like, like R and B music dog back then. It was just like it was, it was, it was, it was a vibe. Like nowadays, R and B, I feel like most R and B cats dog that's uh, mainstream try touching to like the, the rap side so much. It's like you're not getting like a strictly R and B album. Nah. You, know you don't get that. You don't get that. You get that rarely. Yeah, yeah it's not too. You gotta much. really tap in. Like I know where to get them. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I know niggas who really put out like real R and B shit. Yeah, like, like I fuck with Daniel Caesar. Oh yeah, yeah I fuck yeah, with him yeah. heavy. Like yeah. his shit, his shit, strange shit like yeah. that. Dog. What's a what's a CD or a song that you, that can play and you just can go back to a time in your life, dog? Like every time you hear this song or this CD, it just reminds you of this of this fucking exact time or moment in your life. Like confessions. Confessions. Yep. Hell yeah, that's the classic ass album, yeah. dog. That's classic. Like high school. Hell yeah. Unpredictable. Dog, that shit. Hell yeah. Jimmy Fox, dog. I think he should. Maybe he didn't blow up till he got older, but I thought he should put out more, more music. No. More no. albums, cause he got, he got what? How many albums? Jimmy Fox got three. About three or four, I think. Yeah, I thought he was gonna go. Like to me, he got like. But no, unpredictable was a. That shit was cold. That hell shit yeah. Slapper, like hell straight yeah. through. And he kind of the one who kind of like put. Kanye West was out there for the beats, but once you heard him on that song with Jamie Foxx, mm -hmm. that nigga Career just took the fuck off, dog. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, confession. We, we was arguing with my uh, my cousin, you know, with the versus battles going on. She was telling me that Chris Brown destroyed Usher in the versus battle. And I'm like, that nigga just can play Confessions by itself and fuck niggas, fuck niggas up. The only person I think that give that nigga a run for his money is, of course, R. Kelly, dog. Yeah. I mean, I don't think nobody can beat that nigga. R. Kelly? Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Are you are you still listening to music though? Or are you like <laughs> no comment? <laughs> I played the film. <laughs> but no, we <laughs> hey we did a bullet versus Bell at the crib with R. Kelly, dog. I played the film. Hell, dog, dog. Hell yeah. So shit, man. Uh, 
in your in your eyes, you talking about like uh, artists and, and how like niggas nowadays ain't like tapping into that that bag like they used to, dog. What make a good artist uh, uh, in your in your opinion? What what makes a great artist, dog? I mean, shit. I mean, you really can't put on words on that. I feel like you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying. Like everybody got different opinions for one. Mm-hmm. Uh, everybody got different goals. Yeah, for sure. As far as being an artist. Yeah, because you know some niggas uh, feel like a successful artist just being out there. Like yeah, and you some know what I'm saying. Just want to you know put music out. And yeah. That's their that's their level of success mm-hmm. that they want to they want to be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying so. I don't think you can, you can you can't put words on that, bro. Yeah, I feel I feel yeah, cause like I think Russell Westbrook was just saying that shit. I mean, when um, Steve A was talking shit about him not being a champion, he was like, my eyes, nigga, me making out the hood, being NBA, I'm a champion right there. Yeah, yeah. From from where I came from to be in this situation to help niggas, yeah, I'm a champion. Got different, everybody got different journeys, bro. So yeah. it's like you really can't say like, okay, like nigga, this nigga ain't did this, but. Just because he ain't did this, he's not successful. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's not one of his goals to do, nigga. Yeah, for sure. You feel me? But what if he completed all his goals? Yeah, his, yeah, yeah. Did you know? Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. That, nigga, that nigga's successful. Hell yeah. Me? Hell yeah. So, no, so let's get on you, dog, with your music, dog. When was the first time you you decided that you wanted to fuck with music and do music, dog? Like, was you a youngin? Was you got older? I mean, for real, for real. Like, nigga, I started doing music. I want to say I was like 13, 12. Yeah. That was like my first time ever like in a studio. You yeah. Feel me? So um, from then I knew I wanted to do music. Like I grew up singing in church and shit. And so it was just my, you know, it was my destiny. You yeah. know what I mean? Well, yeah, it yeah. is my destiny. You know what I'm saying? So. That's what I always wanted to do. Yeah. Like, niggas wanted to go to the league, of course. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But I always knew I got that to lean on. It's my music. For sure. Now, I had somebody on the uh, on the show, dog, who, uh, who was doing music, man. Shout out to uh, J5, dog. And he was saying, he said something that I, he was like, he, he knew he, he could sing and he wanted to sing, but he didn't want to put it out there that he was a singing nigga because he was too afraid that niggas going to think he was soft. Why, wow, nigga? Like, did you, you ever had that feeling, or you was like, nigga, I don't want nobody to know I can, I do this, like? Never. I wish a nigga would try me. <laughs> yeah. Like for real, for real. <laughs> yeah, cause he was saying like he didn't want he didn't want people to know. Like that was some shit he kind of like hid that he did until he until he got older and got comfortable with the shit. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> what I do, nigga? God bless me with it. Yeah. Say God bless me with this voice, and I will be your ass. <laughs> no. Man, what's that song, nigga? I, I get play. What is it? Don't play with me. What did he say? I give you these hands. That one song. <laughs> My man just went viral off that shit. <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah. So ain't nothing. You ain't never been like nigga ashamed. Like yeah, I can sing, nigga. Like no, nigga. yeah. I, cause it, no. Yeah, because when he said that shit, I was like kind of scratching my head a little bit because I'm like shit. I wish I could sing, nigga. You know what I mean? Chicks, I try to pull off my voice alone, nigga. Like high school, nigga, I be singing everybody, yeah. nigga. Fuck that. In high school, yeah, but as you grow, like that shit lame. Oh yeah, I want to do that shit. No, 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 nigga. That bitch trying to yeah, use a uh, pickup line, singing some fucking usher shit or something. But no, definitely yeah, in middle school, nigga, I would be using yeah, that like, shit, dog. Like, of course, I do music for the ladies, but yeah. I like to go up to a chick and just, hey, baby. <laughs> Hell like, yeah. Like, that shit, we can say it. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, that shit garbage, dog. That shit, I, I remember my cousin, my uh, cousin uh, Mo, his cousin, dog, did, we used to do that shit. I used to get mad as hell because that shit used to work. It was like fucking 15. We was down there in Oakland, Ohio, dog. Yeah, as a kid, that shit used to work. And I was mad as hell. Like, right. damn, this nigga, I mean, that bitch was my best gang. That nigga <laughs> started singing some motherfucking Teddy Pendergrass or some shit back. <laughs> they pulled the chick from me, like, god oh, damn, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, ass nigga, man. <laughs> oh, uh, singing nigga, I can't even sing. I'm trying that bitch, like, like uh, I think I see a meme, like, niggas be trying to practice how to sing, see if they can sing. Nigga, I couldn't. That shit was terrible, dog. Uh, I, I wish I could. I wasn't blessed with that shit, dog. So you say you. You, um, first time in the studio, you was 13 and 14, dog. Like, how was it? Because a lot of times, the way we do shit in our room is different from when you recording some music, dog. It might sound totally different, dog. So how my was it? My first time in the studio? Yeah. Like my first time in the studio, nigga, it was a nigga in HP. His name was Cedric. And his daddy had a studio in the attic of that little two-family flat. Classic. 
And I got one up there. They had a beat, nigga. I was singing fucking. Um, I was doing the hook. Yeah. The hook was. Uh, oh, you still remember that shit? Like, um, <laughs> it was a classic song. Okay. Um, we cry together type shit. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. OJ's yeah. is that the OJ's? Yep. Uh, cry huh, together. Damn, yeah, what's that? Shit? Yeah, that's one. Who's some good? Ja Rule, of course the they, did a, they did a sample was, and shit. Yeah. I think yeah. it was. No, that was the first one. <laughs> yeah, that's the classic. Yeah, that's a classic ass song, dog. Goddamn. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Niggas don't talk about uh uh uh. Drill LeVert like you're supposed to, dog. That nigga was... That nigga was a goat. Yeah, he can sing for real. I'm all up. That nigga is Yeah, you know yeah. What I'm saying? So, as an adult, dog, what's some things you need in the studio, bro? Like, you need water, you need motherfucking people, you need smoke, food. Like, what's some shit that you Honestly, gotta have? Bro, I don't be on, um, like, like... I'm a type of nigga, like... If me and a producer working... Mm-hmm. Of course, we gonna be in there working or whatever, but I ain't the type to have, you know, like, bitches in the studio and... Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Once the work is done, mm -hmm. okay, cool. Yeah, I just sound... Time, you, you know, listen to it and shit, but... Mm -hmm. Oh, um, we working, nigga. We working. Nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, now you say once once it's done, you let them listen to it, like... Like, yeah. like how important, though, do you give a fuck about, like... Criticism or niggas' reaction to your shit or saying, like... Oh, do you no, got man. that person you can go to and... Be like you can take their word and and, and, and and believe what they say or like you just like nigga the I music mean, straight I ain't I don't need nobody to tell me shit about it. I mean we got a we got a circle that we, you know, mm -hmm. put it out, but majority like it be off what I feel. Yeah, you feel for me? sure. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like I you know them ones, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. and then you know the ones like can be, you know yeah. put on a project, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Hell yeah. Maybe this can be a sync. You, mm -hmm. know you know the difference. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But to me, like, shit. Like, my last album, nigga, was all singles. Yeah. No, that shit, we gonna get on that. That shit was cold. Oh, thanks, bro. Shit was hard, dog. Shit was hard for real. I ain't saying that shit just because you right here, dog. Shit. <laughs> a lot of niggas be saying that shit, dog. Because, like, when I get somebody on show, I make sure I listen to... First, I listen to the music before I even ask. Yeah. First, somebody come on. That's then, right. once they come, I just live with that bitch for, like, a week and shit just so I can really know what's going on. And shit like that. So you know, what I'm saying with your with your music, dog, and, and and shit like that. Well, who was the person when you first recorded your first song, bro? Stay stay on that studio tip. Who was the first person you let listen to a song? Like the first person was it Moms? Was it Homie? Like who was the first person you let listen to the first song you recorded, bro? Um, it was probably my sister. Mm -hmm. Probably my sister. Yeah, and she knew. She, I'm, I'm quite sure she already knew you had some. You, you were singing. You were singing before. Oh, yeah, my, I learned a lot of shit from my sister. Yeah, my yeah. sister cold. Yeah, you know yeah. So, now, does she do it for real? Or she just like she cold with she it. She uh, she sing gospel though. Okay. Um, she in a group, uh, mm -hmm. like a choir. They like nationally. They even won stellar awards, all type of shit. Oh shit, that's what's up. Hell you know, yeah. So, Heck yeah. yeah, I learned a lot from her. Okay, okay, okay. Now she uh with the COVID shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? I know you put out this album not too long ago. Mm -hmm. Did COVID affect anything, dog, when, when this shit first yeah. happened? Hell yeah, yeah. I was on tour when it first dropped. For sure? For real? Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, like they canceled like half our tour. Yeah. So that's not some bread and everything. Everything. Man. You feel me? So niggas just really just had to go back to the drawing board. Like, all right, the world stopped, but the music done. Hell you know yeah. Yeah, so. because yeah, either this COVID shit, either, either, either made your hustle stronger or just show how weak you was. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Either we, you was going to ground harder and figure it out, mm -hmm. or you was going to just sit back and chill and get fat and some shit. Mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> COVID shit fucked a lot of people up, dog. Because like, with this podcast, like, I was doing a podcast heavy, and shit, I had to go ahead and do it on IG. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I had to just mm -hmm. switch it up. I couldn't just be like, you know, I'm going to stop because niggas still moving. Niggas still doing their thing. Mm -hmm. So if I stop because I can't have guests come in person, then shit, that ain't, that, that's saying, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? That's I'm dumb. taking the easy way out. That's dumb. So I said I had to keep that shit going. Start even though I hated that shit, dog, because you can't really vibe with somebody over the phone. Me, yeah. I hated that I shit, mean, bro. You can, but it's like you I, know, man, I hate you know, it. Like, I hate that shit with parents. I got to go in the car because my motherfucking three year old son want to <laughs> ask questions on that motherfucker, dog. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm in the car hoping the Wi-Fi still connect. Hopefully, I'm close. I think I cut off on one like. 
Yeah. Uh, my whole Wi-Fi was tripping. Like, <laughs> no. That's when everybody was on Nigga. IG. So IG, I think the the, the beta for it was tripping like everything. No, everybody ain't mama. No, I never been on IG Live so much when COVID first hit, bro. Man. I was on everybody Live seeing what they was doing. Nigga. That's, like, what, that's what it was right at the time. Yeah, and yeah. that made you like, nigga, like the people in your household, if you were living people, you really like, damn, I really fuck with this person. We yeah. ain't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We ain't arguing this shit. Yeah. Like, we dealing with this shit, yeah. dog. Cause me and my wife, though, we used to be like just driving around, like, man, this shit crazy. Like, man, Kobe was a whole <laughs> wake up, man. Call, nigga, like it was a wake up call. Like, Hell nigga. yeah! I mean, I came from nothing. You know what I'm saying? But nigga, and I'm not saying that you know what I'm saying. I'm, I don't have nothing. <laughs> but I'm saying like COVID really made your survival skills tap in. Like, yeah. nigga, all right, now nah, we got to, all right, this ain't going this way. Mm-hmm. All right, then we got to figure this out. All right, this got to, we got to do this. And, like, yeah, yeah. Nigga, COVID was a, a survival, but still maintained. Yeah, mean, yeah. You made and it, it made so. you realize, like, dog, the little shit that you was taking for granted, bro. You are blessed for it. Nigga. nigga. Like, dog, like, <laughs> bro. Dog. Just bro, say, so much. Man. Life at it, just, just life in itself, dog. Yeah, because you like, damn, I miss going to, you know, such such crib or chilling yeah. out, nigga, doing anything, bro. Like, yeah. you was just, nigga, anything you could do, you was doing it, bro. Like, yeah. I remember yeah, my it's mom. a whole different time now, nigga. Like, I don't go to fast food no more because it's going to be 20 minutes to Duh. get some french fries. You nigga, know what I'm like, the other day we was in fucking Popeye's line for fucking 30 minutes. Get to the fucking shit to order. They ain't got no chicken. Why the fuck didn't y'all put a sign up saying y'all ain't got no chicken, dog? So I had to order some fucking shrimp because I was about to go nowhere else. I've been in this line for fucking 30 minutes, dog. So we had to fucking get the Cajun shrimp, dog. They had no tenders, no wings, no nothing. <laughs> like, I went to Popeye's. They said they was only taking cash. Th- what? Oh, shit. Exact yeah. cash. <laughs> Nigga turn around like. I said, okay, how much my order? I go to the ATM. Man, dog, that shit wet. And I realized that since COVID didn't hit, the fast food, I mean, I, I don't know. Everything been kind of trash. As far as, like, the fast food joints. Yeah. Because I think shit, so many even, niggas... Even the quality of, like, real restaurants. Yeah. That shit that went down, down. Yeah, man. yeah. Then everybody in mama... cooking. Yeah, yeah, dog. So, that shit, that shit trash, dog. I miss that shit, man. The real food, man. Like, the good food. I missed everything. Now, now, the one thing, when COVID first happened, dog, did you believe that shit was real? You thought it was some shit like how it was when we was coming up anthrax and motherfucking... All the shit that yeah, they had. Yeah, I lost a homie to it, so... Oh, shit, damn. That's yeah, a piece. But yeah. before that, would you think, like... Yeah, this shit ain't gonna this shit ain't gonna affect nobody. Like this is some shit that they just talking about. At first, yeah. Yeah. At first, yeah. But at when that shit hit that home, start hitting closer and closer. You like, oh, hold on, hold on, hold mm-hmm. on. Yeah, at first it was like when that shit first happened. I remember it was like, dog, that bitch ain't gonna hit America. All right, that bitch ain't gonna hit Michigan. Okay, that bitch won't hit the city. All right, you don't fuck with black niggas. Then that's thing you know, nigga, that shit, dog. We started getting affected more than anybody. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that yeah. shit was fucked up, man. So, man, you used to watch your music, man, Detroit player music, dog. You know what I'm saying? Is that your first project, bro, or that's just like... No, hell no. That's my first project under Upshaw. Okay, okay. I got a whole catalog under TJ Upshaw. Oh, TJ Upshaw. Okay, yeah. so you just... What made you take the uh, TJ away? I'm going to go ahead and peep TJ Upshaw then. Um, <laughs> I just uh, take the Upshaw and seen Detroit player music. I uh, know. Upshaw. TJ Upshaw got a whole... Whole different motherfucking animals, though. I mean, it's just a whole, <laughs> like, shit, seven, eight projects. Oh, know, shit. Oh, yeah. So, oh, okay, okay. But it was all EPs. You know okay. what I'm saying? So, for my first album, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to <clears throat> disconnect from TJ Upshaw. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That kind of music. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you know what I'm saying? That's me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I wanted to, wanted to create something that. Can't be duplicated. Okay. You feel me? Yeah. That's what Detroit player music is. Yeah. yeah. Now, where, where, where you get the name? How you get the name Detroit player music, dog? Um. That shit hard too. Shit. <laughs> That's how it's all pimp shit. Like, <laughs> it ain't even like smooth that. Smooth ass nigga, dog. Cause you can tell when he's smooth. But it is though. It is. It's kind of like on some smooth shit. <laughs> yeah. But on some real shit, like it's really like nigga. All right. So so. When I was on tour. Like, every city I went to, nigga, like, somebody asked me where I'm from. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Detroit. Yeah. And I could tell you, you, you look like a Detroit player. Mm-hmm. You know? I'm like, damn. So, I was like, yeah. all right. So, 
Um, like I was on, and I'm not no player type of nigga. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? I feel, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. I got my you know smoothness, but I'm not no player type of nigga. You yeah. Feel me? So, nigga, I had to think about our society of our environment you yeah. know what I'm saying like really nigga we can make it anywhere in America like, hell yeah you know what I'm saying <laughs> no matter where and we and I realized that on that tour you yeah. know what I mean like nigga that's what that that tour was an independent tour for one you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying and when I say independent I mean independent yeah, for <laughs> you sure yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying so nigga it was nigga it really tapped into my, like I say, Detroit got a survival like mechanism. Yeah, for I mean? sure. Hell yeah. And then it, it tapped into it, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, and everything went smooth and the nigga showed me that shit, nigga. Yeah. Hell yeah. Player, <laughs> Hell yeah. Cause once you make from Detroit, bro, you can make it anywhere. Yeah, I'm telling you, you like, can. Damn. Niggas don't realize that shit. Like, I know niggas say that shit from every everywhere. city. Everywhere, yeah, everywhere. But nigga, Detroit is like, Different, different. Like, Hell yeah. Like different. And a lot of times, dog, like me and uh, me and Unc be talking about this shit all the time, bro. Whenever I go somewhere, I'm like, man, these niggas different. These niggas different. But then maybe, maybe we just different from everybody else. Because mm -hmm. if you look at, I, I, know I, we are. I stay in Texas. I went to Cali and and, and, and down south. And I'm just looking like, damn, everywhere I go, bro, I say the same shit that niggas is different. Mm -hmm. But maybe we just the motherfucking eyeballs and these niggas is just, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I mean, maybe we I don't think we weird. No, we I just mean, different niggas, but in a, in a, in a different type of swag way and shit yeah, like we that. we recognize Hell yeah. the Fugazi shit. Yeah, Hell yeah, you know, yeah. Like, For sure. For sure. Can you go anywhere else? I remember I was in Milwaukee like, dog, these motherfuckers some weirdos down this bitch. Like, hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no disrespect to I mean, Milwaukee. I ain't, never, I ain't never interacted with nobody in Milwaukee, but I, I'm... I'm pretty sure I know what you mean because, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying, you go to different cities and you always interact with people, you know what I'm yeah. saying, and it's always kind of, you, you know. As soon as you say you're from Detroit, motherfuckers be, it's like they get hyped about it, like, damn, you from Detroit, like. Man, it's crazy. I don't know if they get hyped, but it'd be like, like the questions be the same, nigga, like. <laughs> Like it's like they don't do shit. We'll watch first forty no, and, yeah. and, and, and CNN. And yeah. Like about the houses and shit. Like can I really buy a house for a thousand dollars? Yeah. Is it really like that? Like on first forty eight? Like, oh, like <laughs> that's the only shit y'all know. Like, yeah. Hey, and then when you go somewhere else, it's funny. Like that. We have beauty into our city. Like, for you sure. Know what I'm Hell yeah. I hate that the media has betrayed our city to be this terrible place. But, yeah. Oh yeah, you already know. Hell you know yeah. So anybody. We know where not to go. Yeah, you know. Exactly. <laughs> and you know, what, like we was talking about that jump with uh, shout out to uh, Tone Tone with Tony Ireland dog, his new restaurant. Mm -hmm. Like we know where it's at in the hood, but you know, you just gotta go before three o'clock. Yeah. Like, I mean. <laughs> Everybody know that's if you I mean. like, I remember Shout dog, out to that nigga, man. going to yeah, the gas nigga, station, man. bro. Going to the gas station on the west side. I'm from the east side, but my wife from the west, so we stay on the we, we stay in like Livonia, or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I remember I was coming towards going downtown by get on the lodge, right on the lodge eight miles. That gas station by the motherfucking uh, White Castles. Mm -hmm. The whole time I'm in that bitch, I'm nervous. Like dog, I know I shouldn't be in this bitch at two in the morning, well, one in the morning to get some fucking cash and shit to go downtown. And I'm thinking like dog, all the fuck shit that could happen to me right now. <laughs> Just cause I ain't got no cash in my motherfucking pocket, dog. And that shit. Yeah, I'm real. I'm real. Like nighttime, I'm real skeptical. Right oh, you now. gotta be. But I mean, it ain't skeptical. I'm just, you know. I just you just gotta know where you at. Yeah, I'm real aware of my surroundings. Yeah, you gotta know where you at, like, like. Especially if I'm on. Yeah. Now you go to the gas station, probably in the hood, where everybody in that bitch know you and shit. But. Yeah. I'm good going somewhere. Yeah, and I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I just don't yeah. fuck with gas stations at all no more until <laughs> early day. If I don't get my gas early, I just gotta pray that bitch make it though. <laughs> to where I'm going, nigga, for real. <laughs> Straight I, up. I keep my shit on full though. So. See, I'm that I'm that nigga who could have a motherfucker stack in my pocket and still get fucking ten. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my wife like, dog, do you all fucking take every before? Like, no. Like, bitch, all that Let me get ten on seven. That's when you know it's bad when you get uh your your money less than the motherfucking pump number. Let me get five on fucking seven, please. <laughs> Like, damn, you couldn't even match that bitch. <laughs> you gotta go five on two. <laughs> Let me move this bitch. <laughs> so, man, I always do this shit, man. On this show, we do a lot of top three, top fives. I want to do a top three on your motherfucking Detroit player music, dog. My shit is uh, One Way, uh, Brown Sugar, and I got a, 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 a split for my three between best dress and Detroit player music. So, what's your, what, what's your, what's your shit, dog, if you had to do a top three on your own project, dog? I say best dress. Mm -hmm. 
the motherfucking best dress. Do you right? Yeah. Oh, do you right was cold. I ain't gonna lie. And uh, front line. And what else? Front line. Front line. Okay. Yeah. That's the one right before the end. Yeah. Hell yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So my babies. Okay. 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 Now, with this project, was like you have uh, people helping you write it. Or was all you like? No, I wrote the whole thing. The whole thing. Yeah. Now, as an RB singer, you know, what I'm saying a lot of times. You know, unlike rap, you can have people write for you. Are you cool with people writing music for you if it's depending yeah, on what it is? Yeah, my, I got homies who be writing for me. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. My boy B. Sims out in Cali, um, he wrote my single, Put You On. Mm -hmm. uh, he wrote my single, Until Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? I got dudes I work with. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But... Uh, that album, I wanted my album to be me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, like 100%. Yeah, because you, know you ain't there, yeah, especially you, you from the city and all that stuff, yeah, you know what you yeah, want to talk about. Yeah, yeah. So like, as a writer, dog, because you, you write you write too, how mm -hmm. do you how do you separate giving up somebody a song and keep one for you, bro? Like, like if that bitch too, like, damn, that shit too good to give up, like. Uh, it'd be like that too, dog. Yeah. It'd be like that too, <laughs> Like, damn, I don't know if I want, I'm gonna be mad uh, if this nigga blow this shit. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So how, how do you, you just gotta know though You know what I'm saying Like if you got faith In that artist And you see that artist You know Working and shit mm -hmm. And you know that artist Can pull it off mm. Way better Yeah Like I had a record like that Like oh. that bitch go Yeah But uh, like I sent it to my homie Yeah And he sent that boy back And he was I was like, like oh. <laughs> He did a little <laughs> oh. <laughs> Here you go <laughs> Hell no. Now, dog, like, like, so you gotta, gotta, when you write for somebody else, you gotta kind of like, will you tap outside of your, uh, uh, you, and just, um, it's like, and to somebody else, like, like, if I give you a situation, it's like, yeah, man, you know, I'm going through some shit, man, break up and shit, you know what I'm saying? I gotta, do you need me to give you my rundown to be a writer, or you just like, got them bitches on deck? See, I, it's like, it's a two way street, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got them on deck, too. Mm hmm. But at the same time, if it's like on some higher shit, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I really like trying to tap into the artist. Yeah, for you sure. You know what I'm saying? Opposed to <clears throat> the personal. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, what you want to, what you, what you trying to accomplish? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's making you feel certain ways? Mm -hmm, you know for what sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Just to put all this into like a musically hit. You mm -hmm. feel me? Mm hmm. I mean, that's what I do. Now, uh, listen to this shit, and then, you know what I'm saying, I heard you on the uh, shout-out to uh, Urban Kings and Queens, dog. I heard you say, like, you you trying to... I think that's why you separated the names, was because you didn't want to be, like, really known for, like, just making love, sex love yeah, music and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I, I, I feel on this one, like, yeah, you just... You, you singing, you touching some bass, and ain't all about trying to, you know what I'm saying, yeah. bitch, I'm trying to... Oh, yeah. Lady, I'm trying to fuck you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, I, I think Detroit Player Music only had like literally one sexy record. Yeah. Like, I think vulgarly sex. Like, yeah. The other ones was like classy sex. So hell, it was yeah, like, hell yeah, hell yeah. Because this was like, back in the day, they were saying what they wanted to say, but they were just saying that shit in a different way. Yeah. Like, motherfuckers nowadays just got straight to the point. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's what TJ Ultra catalog is like full of. You mm -hmm. feel me? Like, that catalog full of like ratchet shit. Hell yeah. Yeah, cause that's how shit. That's how we was shit. That's how we was brought in this earth, but off them old school. You know what I'm saying? But it, it was those songs. But it wasn't just as vulgar. It was like, all right, we, I'm leading you to the bedroom and shit like that. Yeah. Like, nowadays, like... Like, nowadays, it's like... <laughs> you know what it is. It's on the flow. Like, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my nigga Buggy. Like, back then, like, Ronald Isley, he had seen, he had seen the draws off. Like, nigga, hey, I'm taking you to the movies. <laughs> oh, shit, singing terrible. <laughs> it was like a... It was a lead up to that shit. Nowadays, you just say jumping on your ass and shit, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? A lot of times, that's the only thing you're going to hear, those type of music, those type of songs. You feel me? But, mm -hmm. hey, man, but this one, I feel like, yeah, you, you tapped in, you singing, and it ain't all about just, you know saying, making love and having sex and shit like mm -hmm. that. You know what I'm saying? So, how, like I say, it was a dope project, but how have the response been to this shit from, like, you know saying, the, the city? I mean, it's been lovely to me, man. Mm -hmm. People who fuck with it, fuck with it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? People who get hip to it late be like, damn, I'm late. That I'm half mad that I'm late, mm -hmm. you know, getting hip to it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But... I can say, man, um, I'm about to do my next one. So and I was gonna, about to say, like, how soon you you gonna you gonna start working on the next project? How um, soon you want to release it? Actually, um, I'm going out to Cali on 
like the 19th or the 20th. Mm. I'm going out there to do my next project, so. Okay, this is gonna be another EP or is this gonna be an album? It's like, gonna be an album. Okay, cause yeah. nowadays everybody, it's all the same like to me, like EP album, cause sometimes niggas EPs. I mean, be- EP, some people put EP, some people put EPs out and they be like six songs. I yeah. mean, that's, that's the normal, mm-hmm. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? But my EPs be like shit, eight, nine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then my album was 11. Mm hmm. And that was shit. That I cut that bitch down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, cause you know, cause nowadays, like we was talking about that shit, man. Niggas' attention span, yeah. you know, what I'm saying ain't long. Yeah. You gotta go ahead and hit them with the motherfucking ones that you know right then and there is gonna keep their attention. Cause back in the day, you had motherfucking three verse songs. Niggas don't do three verses yeah. no more. That's why you can't have an album full of fluffers or fillers. I'll mm-hmm. say. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like that's why I say like I feel like all my shit is singles. Mm-hmm. Like all my shit is singles in different genres or not different genres, but. Mm-hmm. Within R and B, but you know, yeah, different subgenres. You know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So you say you look, you going to Cali soon to record, man? How's you want to release it this year or is going or next year? Like no, it's going to be uh, sometime in August. Okay, for sure. Hell sometime yeah. in August. Get you a motherfucking end of the summer. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Yeah. What about saying? Uh, huh? Oh, no? No. Oh, shit. I'm fucking with you, bro. That bitch coming. <laughs> and there's several boy like. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? With, um, you know what I'm saying? You're doing, the, you're doing the music and shit like that, dog. You say you independent. Matter of fact, shout out to Nipsey, dog. Oh, yeah, that definitely, anniversary definitely, was the... Definitely. That was yesterday, two days ago. Man, yeah, dog. Like, that shit crazy. Yeah, it's been two dog. years since he passed, bro. And he was like the number one dude as far as like preaching the independence and Man. shit, dog. Shout like, out to that nigga, bro. Nah, man, I used to listen to that nigga album. Man. Victory Lap, like, every morning, nigga. Like, repeatedly, nigga, every morning. Duh. That's how it was with, uh, with the Crenshaw album. It just put a whole different spirit in your Hell yeah. grind, bro. Like, Hell yeah. Like, man. Like, Hell yeah. Cause when that Crenshaw album first came, I'm like, dog, who? I heard the name, but I'm like, My who? nigga Zoe put me on Nipsey. Yeah. Maybe Bald. 2013, maybe. Yep, that's when I got on. He put me on Nipsey. Yeah. Was, we was blowing in his sub- suburban. You know, you never heard of this nigga? I'm like, no, I play that nigga. Mm-hmm. Play that nigga. Man, kind of found out my nigga Scholar, you know, that I work with now. Yeah. I mean, Scholar, he done did records with Nipsey. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. So it's like. You know a lot of the same motherfuckers around the same motherfuckers. Hell yeah, <laughs> you know? for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Cause I got hooked on him on Crenshaw, dog, and I just remember somebody. It, it, I'm like, there's a dude selling CDs for hundred dollars. That was a big deal. Yep. But then it was just like he had a whole scheme with it. Like you know, what I'm saying you getting you paying hundred, but you getting merch, you getting first deals on when I'm coming in to do shows. This then the third. So he he already had that business mindset. So he really didn't need a motherfucking label. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I think they say Ross was trying to give him a deal with uh, Maybach Music Group, but he like that's my dog. But hey, nigga, I'm on this independent shit, bro. So what, uh, about you, like, are you are you going to stay independent? Would you would you do a deal if it made sense or a partnership? Like how like how would you go about things? Uh, I think I'd do a partnership if anything. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. I do a deal if it makes sense. Yeah. On my end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause some people just want that machine behind them. Cause sometimes you could be independent, but yeah, I feel like that's all niggas really like independent niggas or artists. I feel like that's really all they need is an engine. Yeah, you know I mean? hell yeah. Especially if they dope. Mhm. Like when you got an organic fan base, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And yeah. Niggas fuck with your shit. They gonna fuck with you. They gonna fuck with you. So yeah. if you got a somebody to amplify that shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cause like it's like when I think about independence, dog. First niggas I think about besides Nipsey's like motherfucking Master P and motherfucking E Forty, like Tech Nine, like niggas who like got Master that, P is the goat, nigga. Dog. I don't understand why rap niggas don't go to I, niggas like him, bro. Master like P is the goat, dog. I be I just heard he got a uh, rap snack lemonade about to drop. <laughs> <laughs> right. For real, right. man. Yeah, because he already got the motherfucking the, 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 the noodles. The, he got the noodles. Chips. He about to have the whole lunchroom. Hell block. yeah. <laughs> nigga got the motherfucking uh, 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 pancake mix. Nigga, the, the Uncle Ben, Uncle P's, though. Like, Damn. Yeah. yeah, like, when you, when if, if I'm a young artist or just an artist in general, bro, coming up, I'm trying mm-hmm. to get game from Master P, bro. Like, I'm on a business meeting. Like, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. But they, 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 that's what he, I think he's talking about Kodak. Like, y'all so busy, want to go to these white motherfuckers for 
But nigga, you got people like him and E40 who been making money too. They know the game, know the ins and outs, dog. Like for real, for real. Because I think Mass P was talking about how he went to like. You know what I'm saying? Rap, was going through like rap a lot and found out how they was doing their shit and he started doing his own shit. Mm -hmm. And he signed that one deal, what, it was an 85 15 split? I mean, you always got to have that mentor, I feel like, dog. Mm -hmm. And anything that you do. For sure. Not even, not even the rap or the R&B game. You got to have a mentor and shit. Yeah. Nigga doing real estate. You got to have a nigga to show you the way. Hell yeah. Do you, you know what I'm saying? You got anybody that, that's like on the come up that you fucking with as far as like on that, on that tip? Um... That I'm like showing away. Yeah, or like trying to be that big bro too. Um, I mean, I fuck with a lot of people, bro. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I'm just, you know, I'm willing to give, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You give, you get it back. You oh, yeah, for sure. So, Hell yeah. Like my dog Aston, you know what I'm saying? My Aston London, he, he a cold, he cold. From here? No, he from, he from Memphis. Okay. He live out in LA, dog, but. Yeah. No. That nigga cold, bro. Watch oh, out for that. Dude. And he, he on the army tip? Yeah. Okay, bad. Yeah. Now, you, 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 I know you sing and stuff. You, did you ever get to your rap bag, dog? No, I never did. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that's like, dog, you, you ain't never like been in that, in that row 16 to yourself, bro? I never do that. Because <laughs> uh, who's that dude? Oh, music soul child, bro. I would never do that shit, though. Man. I feel like that's against the code. <laughs> Like, dog, you going against the motherfucking ruler. Yeah, because like, I don't think who... Is it ever been Chris the only nigga that can do it, I feel like. Chris Trey, Brown, yeah. Trey can do it. Yeah. Once they know, tried to, though, yeah. Like, Tori can do it. Yeah. Because Tori Lance kind of came in with that bad. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Drake, I don't know if you... Drake, Drake came in it. with that bad. Like, I do both. No, Drake shit was, nigga. Heartbreak Drake back in the day. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. What was that uh, October season or something? Nah. When he had the little motherfucking um, I got lost with a lot of his shit, you know what I'm saying? Cause he started dropping so much. Yeah. Right, man. But nigga, Heartbreak Drake, Heartbreak Drake 2 and all that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Back like, in the day. Like, them bitches was hard and it was like R and B records. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. So cause he see Drake, that's why I'm saying Drake Drake birthed a lot of niggas, dog. Like oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Cause niggas wasn't doing that shit, bro. Like for real. And you know what I'm saying? And um I'm thinking about niggas who who sing, who was trying to sing and rap, dog. The worst nigga probably <laughs> was when Tyree tried to do that shit, bro. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what was that nigga name? Black, 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 Black Tyree. Tyree. <laughs> I remember I bought that album, bro. It was like half rap, half singing, dog. Like Black Black double Tyree. this, dog. Like that nigga. <laughs> I don't know why he. Oh. Black Tyree. Then you had what's the name? Music Soul Child. I ain't listened to his album that he was rapping. Music? I heard that it was terrible. Yeah, it was terrible, bro. I just heard one song. I remember Charlamagne was shitting on him when he was on Breakfast Club. Charlamagne. And I'm like, I'm like, bro, like, you can't. Once you in that bag, especially a nigga like Music Soul Child, bro. Like, you ain't got married to some of his songs. Like, you can't just jump out that bag and think you about to be a rapper, dog. I mean, you can do it. You know what I mean? You can't knock nobody for doing what they want to do, but. You know, Come on, Music, though. Music Soul Child, nigga. Make just... it make sense. So. <laughs> That's what I feel like. Just make it make like sense. Niggas like Trey Songz and motherfucker Chris Brown make sense because you 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 you, you see it. Man. You see it, dog. They they can do that shit. Yeah. When it comes <coughs> Trey to was a rapper at first, I think, anyway. Dog. Yeah, but I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like T-Pain. T-Pain, that's my nigga, bro. T-Pain, I forgot about that nigga. That nigga the goat. Like, he started uh, as a rapper, nigga. Like, T-Pain, come. T-Pain. Now, I ask everybody this shit, dog, because I'm always curious to know, dog. Just hypothetically speaking, bro. We all, we, I'm quite sure we watched Making a Band growing up. The, the Diddy shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? With Chopper and Ness and Fred and all them niggas and Babs mm. and shit like that. Before it hit the uh, the singing shit with Danny Kane and Day 26 and shit. Mm. So if you just hypothetically, if you had one album, they told you to pick three other people with you to do an album together, dog. Who would be some artists you want to fuck with on that tip? Mainstream or local? Mm. So it's like an album is three of us. Four, four of y'all. Four of us. Yeah, with you and three other motherfuckers, dog. Who who would be the other three motherfuckers you would pick that that makes sense mm. for your for your your one band project, dog? Detroit player music, the band, like. <laughs> Damn, that's that's a tough question. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that's how one dude was. He took him, it took him a while to, to to get to get his four. Well, his three with him. Damn. Mhm. Mm Make you think a little bit. Who gonna fit with that shit? <laughs> Cause it could be, you know, saying it ain't gotta be R R B. It could be rap. It could be whatever. Who fits your, uh, who fits your, your band in your, in your, in your mind? Mm. Are you gonna be? A That's a rough one, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
shit be funny, bro, because everybody be like that, dog. Any question you think you ever think about? They gonna say Upshaw, Upshaw, Upshaw. <laughs> That's what I gotta say. Yeah. That's what I gotta say, bro. Yeah, you can't think of nobody say. for real, for real. I can't real. say nobody for real, for real. Yeah. All right. Well, I ask this question. Who? who I'm gonna go with Detroit since everything. You know, what I'm saying go back on the on the on the title of the CD. Who some artists you wanna Damn. that you wanna work with? That shit smell a little weird on it. It's a little strong. <laughs> well, who some artists from the city that you wanna work with, dog, in the future, dog? Like not no full projects, maybe a song or something like that. Like I, mean, I work with everybody, bro. Yeah. I work with everybody, bro. Yeah. Whoever, whoever wanna work. They just gotta, they just gotta work. I know you ain't about to have no trash ass nigga trying to work with you though, like. No. <laughs> like they go. Yeah. You got, you got, you got the niggas who. You know, I don't knock nobody dreams, bro. Yeah, but you got some niggas who shouldn't be doing it then. No. <laughs> you got, you some, got niggas. some niggas who you know got too many. You know, yes, man. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. for sure. That, that nigga, we were talking about this shit. How it's important for niggas. Your song shouldn't come out the studio if it's terrible. You should have them. Like that I was saying, like you should have people in there that's gonna keep it. Gonna keep it real with you. Yeah, you have We're gonna to. be honest, like you have to have. nigga. Maybe you shouldn't be doing music. Maybe you should. <laughs> you have to. Have. Maybe you ain't got the sound for it. Maybe you just don't know what. Like that's nigga. why I, I be by myself. Yeah. <laughs> I don't got time to be listening to you know. Yeah. Now, what about, what about the engineer? I know you like the engineer can give you some input as far as what you're doing, right? I mean, majority of the time I got an engineer, but a lot of me and my homies we know how to engineer. Uh huh. Like a lot of the time, I engineer my own shit. Okay. Okay. Send so, it off. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's yeah. the best way to do it, though. Yeah, so then you ain't got to worry about nobody being on somebody's tongue. Yeah, now that I got a studio at the crib, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit. Yeah, it's, it's way easier than having to go pay for time. Some shit. And that's when you can tap into different shit, try some shit, yeah. not worry about being on the clock or a tongue. See, I go to I go to studios, like, to mix and mm-hmm. master on shit. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. So, shit, what's some, uh... What's some sh- other shit that you want to do outside, like a music, dog? You, you know what I'm saying? You play act, bro. Act? Yeah. You want to get one of that <laughs> McGraw abs and shit? <laughs> I want to act, dog. Yeah, like, what what type of shit you want to start off? Like, if, your first movie, like, how what you want it to be? Some comedy it, shit? It got, no, it got to be, like, it got to be some Detroit movie shit, dog. It gotta yeah. Be, it got to be. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Thomas, man. My nigga, Tommy Harris, dog. Get, get my man on one. McGraw abs, dog. Yeah, part two. I mean, season two. On some shit. <laughs> Hell yeah. Wow. All right, let me ask you. You, you say you want to act? Yep. You want? Right, we got movie role for you, bro. You, oh, you in the singing? Oh, if you had to, if you had to act as a lead role for a past R and B artist, dog, who would you want to play? <sighs> I'm the biopic nigga. Yeah, you a biopic uh, nigga, dog. You gotta pick, dog. It gotta be back in the. It could be a 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, whatever. You playing that role, though. I got somebody who we were talking about that shit. I think it has to be like just because of acting. <laughs> I like I like to play David Ruffin. Uh, David Ruffin, hell yeah. That's just because be just because of the life I know that he like besides the drug use and all that. Like mm-hmm. that nigga probably was like 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 he probably lived life, nigga. Hell like, yeah. Like, David motherfucker Ruffin. I don't know his you know personal shit as you know. What biopics try to bring out? You know yeah, what I'm saying, yeah, ain't from Detroit. Yeah, motherfucker. Say what I what I know and what I've seen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't love to be. No, I don't know. They rough me dope, dog. That nigga said, "Y'all ain't shit know. without me." Like, nigga, funny as hell. They rough me. Eddie Kendrick definitely was the two niggas on. Eddie on, Kendrick was my temptation. Dude. Yeah, hell yeah. All right, man. Towards the end, man, we always do this thing called top three, bro. I give you a category. Give me your top three. Top three what? Uh, whatever. So I'll give you top three. All right, for instance, top three foods. Oh, okay, I like that. All right, yeah. cool, cool, cool. Cool, that's cool. cool. Alright, so give me your top three food. <laughs> um Cornbread. Um Cornbread gotta be just right too, bro. You got sweet cornbread. Cheddar bay biscuits. <laughs> and yams. Yams. I know it was a yam nigga, dog. Man, I love them bitches. I know it was a yam nigga, dog. I ne- love them bitches. Never a yam nigga, dog. All right, give me your uh, give me your top three uh, current R and B uh artists. Uh, 
Upshaw. For sure. TJ Upshaw. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's your third one, nigga? Chris Brown. All right, Thank bet. <laughs> All no, right, Chris, Chris up there for sure. Oh hell yeah, hell yeah. Well, if it wasn't for that motherfucking, and I don't think, goat, I don't think that situation should, uh, should. They say that shit. That, why Chris Brown haven't performed at the halftime show yet for Super Bowl? Like nigga, mm. like, like, and to me, I think that that. I mean, he was young, bro. If it wasn't for that situation, that I don't think that's a reason. I think that's what the I think the Super Bowl just go like. Oh, Super Bowl got some bullshit. Yeah, bro. they just be. Of course, I think it's about that bag. <clears throat> it's yeah. about that bag for sure. Yeah. Damn, what the fuck? <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, but Chris Brown definitely uh, is that. It's th- about that bag for sure. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. Oh shit! I thought the top was off. I was about to be like, "Fuck that nigga, beer all up, dog." Hell yeah! It's about that bag. I don't think they got enough bag bag for Chris Brown. Yeah. Did Beyonce do it yet? Oh yeah, she did. Yep. But yeah, Jay Z is. No, he ain't did it. He is inside the NFL planet. Yeah, he ain't. He fuck with that shit. Yeah, so he probably got the discount. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! All right, give me your. He uh, probably paid some. Give me your uh. Give me your top three uh. Give me your top three uh, movies, dog. Um, it can be hood movies. Top three. We can do top three hood movies or just top three movies in general. Man, my number one favorite movie is Norbit, dog. Norbit. <laughs> Hell, dog. Norbit. Um, Major Pain. Okay. That's classic right there, bro. And shot us. Shot us. Hell yeah! All right, now we you see you. You know what I'm saying? Smoking got good smokes, dog. Oh yeah. Give oh, me your yeah. top three motherfucking uh snacks, dog. For when you when you when you on some blow shit. All right, y'all gonna read like. <laughs> All right. Um. So if I want some real foods type shit, mm-hmm. I get some yams. Some macaroni and greens, put it all in one bowl. <laughs> and eat it like that. Yeah. Um, cupcakes. Yeah. Um, Hawaiian rolls. Hawaiian rolls, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I eat the shit. You want the bitches? You want you want toast them bitches or just like? Oh, you toast them? I ain't never did that. Cause I gotta do that shit. Dog, hell yeah. I, 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 I just put them in the microwave. Dog, no. no how, that's how, that's how, how do you toast them? Hold on. Put, put me on. Put that bitch in the. Uh, you got put. Yeah, get a little, little more foil. Put that bitch on top, nigga. Let that bitch warm up for about man. Five shut the minutes. fuck up, bro. <laughs> Should be good as hell. See, I just be putting my shit in the microwave See, that shit for go, 10 seconds. That's straight, it get a little soft and warm. Yeah. But then you put that bitch in the microwave, you get that little crisp to it a little bit. Dog. Mm-hmm. That shit on point, bro. That shit yeah, on point. I'm about to go home and do it. You got, you got real, real Stop at Sam's shit. Club right <laughs> okay. now. Get the motherfucking 50 piece. <laughs> Duh. Duh, hell yeah. Now this, now, this is a challenging one, bro. Like, top three moments in life. Man. Being born. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a top three. <laughs> um, that's the first race you win, shit. All right. Shit, all, being, all three of my sons being born. Oh, yeah, definitely got that. Shit. And musically, like... Being on BET, even though it was some bullshit, like just being on TV. What you mean on bullshit? Like what, what, what was it? Like, dog? It was just on Fugazi shit. It was TV. <laughs> yeah. It was TV. Yeah. It like, was like a, a competition or something. Yeah. It was on be the next best next best thing. Or okay. Something like that. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But that was a dope experience. But Hell like yeah. just to be nigga like in front of Dame Dash and mm-hmm. Tina Davis and Zay. Oh yeah, I, I do remember that shit now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hell yeah. It just, you know. Yeah. Now you say you got three boys, bro. Like you got you you, you um no darts, right? No darts. Oh, uh, you got three boys. I got two boys and darts. Like, how is important is it, dog, to be like that person in their life to make sure they get to where they get to? Because right now, being a kid, dog, it, like and being a parent, nigga, both both ends is tough, dog. So like, how important is your actions and moves? You Very know important. Yeah. Cause they looking at you. Mhm. You know what I'm saying? So, like. My sons, like I got three, so I got I got a twelve year old, I got a five and a two year old. Five and two year old, they like they they hang together and shit. <laughs> so, like bringing up my twelve year old, Kanan, like 
I'm kind of like grooming him as like my little brother, but yeah. with the fatherly, you know, yeah, figure, I feel, you know I feel, what I'm I feel saying? So, like, I just feel like they got a gap in their age where, mm-hmm. nigga, or Lord forbid if anything happened to me, like, everything, he, he got to yeah. instill everything that I've taught him into his brothers. Hell know? yeah, that's so, fast. That's that's the way I do them, but Carson and Carson and Clay, they uh I don't know, they 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 just call me at them ages for life where like, all right, go ahead. Yeah, you see right. you get a little soft and shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, I know. For sure, cause like my son, like I say, I got them ages too. My son is fourteen and then I got uh, my other son four. Then okay. my daughter is three months. Oh shit! Noon, <laughs> hell yeah! Damn! <laughs> hell yeah. Like she be four months on the fifteenth, bro, this month. So it's like I'm with you on that shit. Like my oldest son, nigga, I try to like tell him everything on like life and what to do and how to be responsible and shit like mm-hmm. that. So then, like I said, God forbid, knock on wood, yeah, if something happened to me, yeah. I can trust that my that he gonna be able to handle things. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. Not yeah. handle them, but you know, what I'm saying? yeah, but step up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I ain't mm-hmm. I ain't expecting him to be like a father and take over, but mm-hmm. be that person that he can look up to. You feel mm-hmm. me? So and I'm like, he got other siblings. Cause like I said, that's me and my yeah. um my uh my high school girl. She got kids too. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, nigga, not only do you gotta be the man for my son and daughter, but you got also gotta be that. That person for her daughters too, mm-hmm. cause even though we not together, I'm not about to be on no whole mm-hmm. shit and be like, you know, what I'm saying, just look out for my kids. Like, <laughs> okay. if something happen, you gotta mm-hmm. watch out for your siblings, dog. Mm-hmm. Cause in the day, cause he was like, damn, he's like, I'm the only one who don't have a full sibling out of his sisters and brother. Like he don't have like the same mom and dad as any of his other siblings. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> but at the end of the day, we don't look at that half shit, though. Like, your that's brother's good. your brother. That's good. Your sister's that's, your sister. That's how you got to do it. Yeah, because, like, my older brother, I never called him my half brother. That's my brother. Yeah, I got uh, my you know little sister's saying? my little sister. Yeah, yeah. ain't no half shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, no, I ask that question because it's important, though, when you raising men. See, and, right, shit, it's super important now raising young ladies mm-hmm. and shit like that, dog, to just be that respectable man. And then that, that me having a girl, even though she only four, about to be four months, I'm looking at the future, like, I got to be that nigga and that dude to that show. she look up to. Yeah. So I got to be opening the doors for her and her mama. So then when she look for that man, bro, she's like, Yo, my dad did this. You ain't doing, you ain't doing this? this. I'm fuck out here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's the. I think it's probably a little bit scarier raising a daughter than a son. Just because. Hey, see, I, I want a daughter. Yeah. I'm about to say, are you, you done or are you just like. I think I'm done, though. Yeah, I think I'm done. Oh yeah, I'm done, dog. My, when my wife got her tubes removed, I was in that bitch like nigga yeah, doing the Jordan pose. Sure. I'm done for sure. For sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm done for sure. For sure. Now I forgot to tell you shit off camera, bro. But we always end every show off with a drunk moment or a high moment, bro. Oh shit. Do you got a funny story when you was one or both? Shit, drunk. Drunk or high or you was um um off off both them bitches. Man, I don't know if y'all remember ninety nine berries. Y'all remember that shit? That was a drink. Yeah. No, <laughs> sorry, some cheap shit though. No, it was like ninety nine berries, ninety nine bananas, ninety nine. It's all type of fruit. Damn, no, I never, I ain't beat. It was like oh seven. Yeah. Nigga had a party at college. Yeah. Nigga, it was all bad. I woke up under. Uh, Pool table after the club closed. You say you woke up under the pool table? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> after the club closed. Damn. <laughs> like they like we found another one. I'm like God damn, how long I been? I'm a dog. I threw up and everything. Dog, so you don't, you like now with some drinks, dog. Some drinks would be so fucked, so uh, so so fucked up that you don't even remember like nothing but before and after. I don't. I don't remember. I remember nigga pre gaming at the little football house. Hell yeah. We got to the club, nigga. I remember nigga <laughs> dancing or some shit, nigga. And nigga going to the back and nigga woke up under the pool table. That's all I remember. Duh. I remember nothing about the party. Duh. That's I, almost how my shit was, bro. Like my. Nah, I fucked up my two tongue coked. Two, <laughs> the two tone Kohans, you know, yeah. they came out with the black ones, and then they had the two tone. I had the, I had the fucking like peanut butter on the side <laughs> with the, the tan <laughs> suede in the middle. Duh, oh, fuck the bitches all up. up. Damn, I remember them bitches. Man, <laughs> oh, see, I remember being fucked up like that, dog. Crazy. And you so fucked up, bro. Like I be telling niggas, I told a story a thousand times, but the only thing you see is heels and shoes. Cause you can't look up. Yep. Cause nigga, you just fucked up, bro. Yep. And you wake up at your mama house with a busted head and shit, nigga. That's how I was. I ain't bro. wake up with no bumps and bruises. Oh, nigga, I woke I up was... a head, nigga, bleeding. 
Nigga. I never had no episode like that. Like, <laughs> yeah, I was fucked up, dog. No, I remember I was drunk, drunk off Jaeger. Oh, yeah, I mean, I mean, my brother be on that my shit. My 25th dog. birthday, nigga. I went crazy off them bitches. Yeah. Man. Crazy. They had Royal Oak with the white people. Oh, yeah. shit, yeah, you get fucked up there. <laughs> hey, yeah. I about had yeah, about 12 of them bitches, dog. Man, woke up in another spot crazy. Man, huh? I woke up, dog. Yeah. Yeah, I slept in the car. Everybody blew my phone up. Yeah, nigga, they can't find me. Duh, that, that be the, crazy. That be no bitches though. When you just like nigga, like in the I meantime, can't. you during the time you having a good time, nigga. But then afterwards, that's when everybody got that. I ain't gonna drink no more story and shit. Yeah. Then next I don't week, drink like that no more though. I probably drink some tequila now. You yeah, know what I'm saying? but I don't drink like that now. Yeah, see, we only fuck with the, like the whiskey and bourbon and shit, dog. Like yeah, I fuck with Jameson. Yeah, now tequila, cause tequila give me a dumbass headache. I can't handle. Oh no, nah, I see. I can't I don't handle drink that it shit. that much. I drink a little, so I feel it and I be straight. Yeah, I can't fuck with that yak no more, bro. Oh no, that yak had my stomach <laughs> and. Hey, now I wake up, I be like, dog, what the <laughs> fuck did I eat? Like, Hell yeah. Drink, Hell you know, yeah. Like, like, it just give me that feeling that I just don't like it, dog. Like, oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Beat the, oh, the, the hoodie, dog. That shit oh, yeah. cold. Hell yeah. Yeah, bro. There's some new shit. You got, you got that shit for people that can, they can, they can purchase or yeah, it's just some it's shit? Yeah, it's on the site. It's on the site. Okay. TJFshore.com. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Get me, speaking of sites, I'll give people where they can find you at on social oh. media and uh, and where they can find music at, bro. Uh, You can find my music everywhere, man. Make Spotify. sure you are two different things, though. <laughs> no, nah, just search Upshaw. It'll pop up both of them. Okay, bet, uh, bet, bet. Upshaw is my recent. TJ Upshaw is my previous yeah. catalog. But, okay. Uh, they both deal dope and deep. You know what I'm saying? So, uh it hit you like that. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, ladies. Um, <laughs> What's the social media? They can find social you. Social media is at I am Upshaw everywhere. I am Upshaw on every social media. Um, Facebook. Um, Instagram, Twitter, all that shit. Uh, and like I said, my website is IamUpshaw.com. For sure. That's so, where you can purchase the hoodies and all type of merch. Purchase the hoodies, purchase music. Purchase everything, see videos, yeah. all that shit. For sure, for sure. For sure. I appreciate you coming on this motherfucker. Oh, you already dog. know, bro. You already know. Yeah, you got bro. some. Uh, we always ended up though. You got some motherfucking uh, motivational words or something you can get to people before you leave, or oh, fuck them. Man, be you, <laughs> man. Be you. Yeah. Do what you love. Hell yeah. Don't let nobody stop you. Yeah, for sure. Keep going. Oh yeah. Usually I give us some some silly shit, bro. But on this one, I'm just gonna be like, man, love your loved ones, man. Exactly. You love know what I'm saying? Ones. You know what I'm saying? Cause you don't know when that shit can be over or nothing. So yeah, make sure you love them, man. Love them hard. If you got some beef with family, homies, and friends, it, yeah, handle it, that shit. It ain't worth it. Cause then you'll be one fucking mad as hell. If something happening and you ain't get to squash that shit, bro. It ain't worth it. it so ain't shit, worth man. It. Your boy Shy, man, got TJ up. Oh, Shaw, my bad. How about <laughs> you? Saying we got up on the building, we got motherfucker. <laughs> Uh, Q Lewis in the back. I'm about to say, I'm about to call everybody old names, bro. Right, so it's your boy Shy, man. How at y'all boys, man? Be easy. All right, for sure.